back. Another homebrew. This time, this is the Andy's Mint. Finally not mine, right? Yeah. I mean, we did two in a row of yeah. mine. It's time for you. About time. <laughs> no, so this is the Andy's Mint. Um, I do not have a date that I put it in the keg. Okay. But um, I did uh, brew this on 9-6-0-5, or 15. So... Probably been in for at least three weeks. I'm I'm guessing a month. Okay. It, it, it's I I think what I did was it was in the primary for one week, then straight to keg. You have gravity at keg. Okay. There we go. Nine twenty six. So nine twenty six. So a month. Yeah, a month. Yeah, one month. From when we're shooting this, sure. a month. Yeah. Um. So a little bit about it, uh, we've talked about it before in videos that we want to do 10 gallons and, you know, do one cherry, do one, uh, yeah. the, the mint. Uh, so if you want to see that, go back and watch some of the older ones, that'll show you. But to this one, um, again, I hit all my numbers, it's just the last one, so that I'm guessing tells me that a yeast starter is needed. Yeah. Um, it was above 1.04. It was 10.64. So I probably needed... Uh, yeah. So I probably needed a starter. Um, it finished at uh, 10.27. Oh, okay. That's which, not bad. But it, So it's a 4.8. Yeah, it, it's still high. So I'm guessing in this we're going to taste sweet. And again... This has been in the keg for, let's say, a month. We have not tried it. So, um, here, obvious, the, the weird part, as we were talking off camera, there, there's still no head. Yeah, which is really odd for a keg beer that you force carbonated yeah. at a set level. Right, so. and it is 10 PSI yeah. because that's what my other ones are set at, and they all have, you know, fine carb level, but... Mm -hmm. You know, let's try it and see what we get and sure. go from there. Give so smell. smell. Yeah. It's interesting. I, I can't place it. I almost want to say it smells like your pecan. It does a little bit. I don't know why. So oh, that's holy crap. It's got some mint. <laughs> it's definitely got that mint. That's weird. It is a weird flavor. I can see where the Andy's mint comes in, though. You can't really taste the chocolate. No, I could there, though. Maybe it needs to warm up a little. Hmm. The bitter of the chocolate with the mint. Like, it's still almost too... It, it's bitter. Yeah. The chocolate, then you get the mint. Yeah, it's really weird. It's it's not a bad beer. It's just... I don't think... It, it's not ready. It's funny you say that, though, after four... Or, yeah, four weeks in a keg but, that it's not... But you're probably right. It, I mean, it, it probably needs a little longer to mellow yeah, and do what it to, needs to yeah. do. No, it's not a bad beer at all. And um, that's tea. That's mint tea bags. Hmm. That's interesting. I've never had mint tea beer. <laughs> and um, if we go back, way back. Um, like back of the future? Like yeah, like way back there. When, the, the when I was making this, we, or I put the cocoa powder in there. Mm -hmm. And it clumped all up. And my biggest thing was when I, because... Um, I was trying to keep everything isolated so that way it wouldn't get in there and I wouldn't have right, to scoop yeah. it out and all that. So when everything was all done and I dumped it out, it was a ball really? of cocoa powder. So it, the liquid never got into... The liquid never got in there. It cracked open. It was dry as can be. I, so I, wonder, I can taste though, it. I, I can too, but I wonder if you missed out on a lot of cocoa flavor now you got to be careful with the the cocoa powder because right. it's bitter right right i made that mistake when i was a kid i took some milk <laughs> and some cocoa powder and said oh, right it says hershey's on the side why not 
but right, right now we're getting better. It, we are. So, but but I wonder. You know what? I wonder if you threw in cocoa nibs into the secondary. If, if that would that would have maybe brought more chocolate forward. I almost think if if it's a typical beer, if we think about it, it's gonna that's gonna mellow out. Yeah. Oh yeah. So I think I I don't think it's ready. Four weeks in the keg. There. I mean, obviously we're getting some head when we shake it, but not obviously when we pour it. Which I'm not. It, it doesn't really matter. But I I think the bitterness of the cocoa powder is too high. Mm. Like you get that right up front, but then that mint comes in, which is fine, but. I, I think it's too young. Yeah, it, and it might be. We we should probably do a third. No, it's our first, right? First yeah. video on this yep. one? We should do a second video on this. Uh, maybe, what do you think, two months out? See, yeah. See what's going on? I think probably by Christmas, this yeah. should be ready. Yeah. No, I, and I think it's set up to be a good beer. Right. You know what I mean? Like, it, it, has, it has a little roast to it. It has that... There's a little bitter chocolate, but yep. it's got that mint finish to it, where I see why they call it that Andy's mint. Yeah. Like that's that's really cool. I, I would have never thought yeah. to do it. And that's Andy's ten mint. mint tea bags in the boil. Huh. So Yeah, I, I would have never thought to do that. But. Nope. But four point eight percent respectable. Andy's mint. Yeah. Even though I would like to see it lower, obviously. Mm-hmm. Because it didn't finish all the way, um, but and hopefully us going to starters will yep will help that. Like, but I think we're gonna be high fiving each other once we hit starters, <laughs> yep. right? We're gonna be like, yeah, hey, stop. Yep. But good beer. thumbs up good if beer. you yeah. like it. Comment if you think we should have done something different, which really we yeah, couldn't. Yeah, because. right. I mean, but um, yeah, let us know what you think. And this was from homebrewtalk.com. I'll post a link to the bottom of the thread. Um, I have posted there. You can see my little hiccup with my new rec- my refractometer. Yep. Yeah, yep. And you guys got to go to that website. Yep. If, if anyone wants to learn about brewing, just go there. It's yep. it's such a good website. Yep. I mean, those guys are so helpful. And you can see how they help me because even though I don't have hair, I lost a lot of hair because technically I thought this lost. You know, went down to 10.44. You got more than some of our friends. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm getting there. I'm yeah. slowly losing it. But, yeah, so like, if you like this video, comment, tell us something that you guys want to see, or subscribe, so you know when we post more. Constructive and, criticism. That's what yeah. we want. Yeah, we want to get it. better. Tell us what you guys want to see. Until yeah. then, I'm Brad. And I'm Steve. Happy brewing. See you guys later.